Hey guys, just wanted to show you something going on here. Um, one of the complaints from, from the puppy owners, probably with any puppy, is um, that they won't leave you alone when you've got food or they're, you know, get on the counters. They just, you know, food crazed. So um, I put them over there and sit, stays. Um, Carly slide, uh, slid down into a down, which, which I don't mind. Um, she's staying put. Um, Claire doesn't know down yet, and she's a little more um, it, um, nervous, nervous, a little more concerned about this. So she's been staying in the sit. She hasn't totally relaxed to a down yet. But, um, but what's going on here is I'm eating some snacks in the kitchen. I've actually dropped some on the floor because I'm a pig when I eat. But these guys are staying put. Good doggies. So, um, setting boundaries so that the obedience commands can really change a lot for, uh, for people. And the cool thing about puppies is they totally understand boundaries. Oh, look at that. She laid down. She's relaxing a little bit. Good girl. Um, the thing with, with puppies is they actually do really understand boundaries pretty well because their mother dog was setting boundaries for them before you even got your puppy. So, um, it's not that far away from when they used to do it. So, um, starting to set some boundaries will really help create a dog who understands what you want and um, respects your space, which is a really important thing for any dog to understand, but especially puppies. Respecting your space and respecting people or dogs with food. So.